okay, that was a little longer than five minutes, and I recognize that. Okay, so when I get home and I put all the stuff away, the thing that I do after that is I go through the fridge, for those of you that are not on yet. Hey, Courtney. I go through the fridge and I throw away stuff that um, is left over from last week. And I'm gonna have to find a place to, to put this because I have it charging. Oh, maybe I could stick it in this little thing. All right, maybe. I don't have a selfie stick or anything, so. Goals, right? I don't normally cook for people. I mean, you know, for people, people. <laughs> like, in front of people. Okay, so, <clears throat> I'll pull this down here in a second. Um, the lights that I use get really super hot. So the first thing we're gonna do, I have to put this away, is, um, is I'm going to make the dip. Please, I'm on camera. Please stay, keep your clothes on. Go ask daddy. I'm sure you probably can imagine that with a five-year-old, right? Keep your clothes on because he wants to get naked all the time. And Okay, so this is a two-cup bowl. Hey, Angie. All right, where's my stuff? Okay, so maybe I should pull this down here and see if that works better. Except y'all are going to be looking at me, which I guess is fine, down here. You won't see my face, but... <laughs> mom life right like he's seriously trying to get naked and I'm like dude come on <laughs> cut me cut me a break here <laughs> cut me some slack okay I'm trying to find the one cup. this is the half cup so this ranch packet um what I do is um I guess I should read the directions. So one packet, 16 ounces of sour cream. Well, we're not using sour cream. We're using um, high protein yogurt with zero fat. Yay. So, um, and th the reason I'm doing this first is because it needs to sit. So anytime you're going to, you know, do a dip. So, I, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm taking the thing off. It has a little cap. And so I'm just gonna scoop out a cup, throw it in there, and I'm not gonna scoop out the second cup. I'm gonna kind of take my spoon and stir it in. This is cooking for people who don't like cooking. <laughs> so <clears throat> maybe I should have put this in a bigger bowl. And that's usually what happens to me is I'm like, hmm, probably should have put it in a bigger Um Okay, bowl. It's gonna end up in this dish. She's not making it in this dish. So, just kind of stirring that up, putting the rest of the packet in, and then taking another cup of the yogurt and putting it in here. Now, I did get some sour cream, and I'm going to take about a tablespoon of the sour cream and put it in here, just so it's not all Greek yogurty. And I'm just stirring that up. Nothing fancy. Regular sour cream. I have a two-year-old, you get it? Yeah, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, so 
So this, I will put the little, no, nah, I don't need the black. So here's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna take this flap off, take all this, that's gonna go in the trash. So stirring it up. And you usually need to let this sit. I'm just gonna taste it to make sure that it tastes right, which it does. The rest of this stuff. And then put this over here for just a second. Put it back into this container. It says two cups. I don't think it's two cups. Now I'm thinking like I need a separate container or something. <clears throat> and this dip would last for about a week I mean I don't after I make something I usually don't let it stay in my fridge that long um, and if I want to add other things to it like spices I mean I will okay so The only thing else that I'm going to do is take, why did I add the, tea, the tablespoon of sour cream? Because the flavor from the sour cream will get into the yogurt and it will, the best way that I can say is it will kind of contaminate it in a good way. So that's why I took the tablespoon because it adds like just a touch of that different flavor. Because for some people it takes a long time to get used to the taste of the yogurt. And so it just, um, I have that bit of flavor. Okay, so I'm going to cover this with the you don't have to put the sour cream in there. That's just how I've done it. I don't know. I guess it so okay. So this is going in the fridge. So this is what's left. I'm gonna take one packet of Splenda and one packet of Stevia. And the reasoning behind that is that Stevia has been shown to have an impact on your blood sugar, whereas Splenda has, not Stevia. And Stevia has um, doesn't and so I like things a little on the sweeter side and so I need I don't want to impact my blood sugar so I'm going to no, you can okay so I'm gonna take just a touch of vanilla and I usually don't measure stuff so like maybe less than a half a teaspoon is pure stevia like trivia yes so I'm gonna take a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and I'm gonna pour it into here. And then I'm going to take these two packets and put it in. And so when I do this, as you probably noticed, I didn't buy yogurt for myself at the store. I bought yogurt for my son, but not for me. I mean, I bought this yogurt, but I didn't buy any other yogurt so what that what this is is this is plain yogurt that now I've stuck a touch of vanilla in so you can see actually how much I'm tasting <laughs> just like a touch it's more for flavoring like I'm not taking a whole scoop and then this goes back in the fridge and so anytime I want yogurt this week I'm gonna take it out of here out of this container and it's already pre-made, pre-sweetened, and I have two uses for the yogurt. Now I'm chopping vegetables, okay? So I'm going to move all of this aside and get my... 
going to put the sour cream away. So when I'm in the kitchen, it's kind of like a dance. <laughs> um, so I'm getting out my pan because I'm going to saute the vegetables, but first I have to chop them. I know I'm out of eyesight, I'm sorry. <clears throat> when I'm in one space, I wanna like stay in that. Okay, so I have another bowl here. And what else do I need? Cause I'm using just like, cause it's just gonna be something that holds this stuff temporarily until I put it in the pan. I'll just use a plate. Or maybe like a, one of these bowls. Cause I'm gonna use, there's not a lot of storage in this. Hey Nikki, I'm cooking. <laughs> this is cooking for people who don't like cooking. <laughs> so this is meal prep. Um, so I'm going to take out the onions, the green pepper, and the mushrooms. All right. And so, um... Any other questions? So basically, I'm going to start chopping the onion, and I'm going to chop this into small pieces because, and the reason for this is when I do, if I were just to do, um, if I were, and I'll show you in a second, if I were just to do the Philly cheesesteak skillet, I would um, probably do them in strips but because I'm also doing egg cups I'm not gonna get overly extravagant I'm just I'm not trying to recreate the wheel so I'm gonna just chop them small and like keep it simple for myself and so I did not go into any kind of cooking school and then I throw everything in the sink and then after that I will um, here maybe I should turn this around and I, I should probably have a headband or something so <laughs> that, then, that I could do this from I wish I could like because you guys are watching me but not, not necessarily watching the chopping and so I'm gonna um if my husband husband wasn't studying I'd ask him to come and be a little um so these are, I'm not, I'm not chopping it too fine, um, and, I'll, and I'll take another, um, I'll pull the camera down in a second. I'm just kind of like doing a, a rough chop of the onions so that they're in like medium sized pieces, or what I consider medium. And I'm doing two onions because I'm using half for the egg cups, or a, a good part and then I'm using half for the Philly steak skillet. Hey Amanda. This is cooking for people who don't like to cook y'all. This is meal prep for the week. Okay. So all right so here are my onions so you can see. Let me turn it around. Hey Holly. All right. Can you see what I mean by like a rough chop? It's not like super small. Okay. Oops, that's my knife set. All right. Back to work, Kristen. Back to work. You're being timed. Lauren is timing you. <laughs> so, um, hey, Nancy. I'm glad you're back. I literally have my, um, my, what do you call it? Um, my phone standing in a cup. Okay, so I take the top off like this just because it's easier. Like, we can get fancy schmancy with it. But then I'm going to cut the pieces off. There's the top. Throw that over there. 
and then I take this piece out and I just twist it. <clears throat> My brother, who was a trained chef, he's on vacation, but if he saw this, he would probably laugh at me because, you know, he's actually trained to do this. And he would be like, Kristen, you're doing it all wrong. I don't know what the hell you're doing. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing either. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to get through. Okay, so I'm gonna do these the same kind of way where they're just like a rough top. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to kind of put the um, put the stove top on and I'm gonna get a tablespoon of olive oil. And I don't do anything like super fancy. Here's the pan. There's my garlic over there. So I'm just gonna do Probably about a tablespoon, I would say, or something like that. Oops. I'm trying to show you. Dropping in. Hey, Mindy. Oh, awesome. That's the way to do it. All right. So, um, so for the Philly cheesesteak skillet, so what I do is I do, so you guys know, like, what is she doing? So basically, I get um, green peppers, onions, mushrooms, and... Um, then I have provolone and mozzarella and you can use either or or whatever you like um, some people I've never heard of Philly cheesesteak with Swiss but then again I'm not from Philly I'm from Miami originally so I don't know that's just what I've always had it with so you do you um, that's how I'm gonna make them and we're also doing like I said the egg cups so I'm waiting for the kind of oil to heat up a little bit here for the pan to heat up and then I'm going to throw the onions in while I'm still chopping so and then that way so I'm going to do onions and then mushrooms and then the peppers because if you put in the peppers first this is just what I've learned and I do not watch the Food Network or anything like that real cheesesteak is cheese whiz Ooh. Isn't that like really awful? Like, I mean, for you, <laughs> I've never had cheese whiz. Well, maybe I have, but I can't remember the last time I had it. Um, and obviously you guys saw from the grocery thing, we don't do a lot of processed stuff. Um, Courtney, olive oil, Leon. no, you can use other oils, but the thing that I found out recently is um, canola oil. Um, even though I do have canola oil in my cabinet, there have been a lot of articles lately that I've seen that says like the canola oil and vegetable oils, like different mixed vegetable oils are not as good for you. So, um, but my husband loves olive oil, so that's just why we have a lot of it. So, you know, there's no other reason other than he uses olive oil a lot because he's Mediterranean. So we typically have the real stuff on hand. Um, what, what's gross is olive oil. Oh, um, so, the thing that I'd heard um, about the canola oils is that it's cancer causing. So, check, look, Google that because I'm not a, don't consider me the all time aficionado. Okay, so the onions are going in. This one needs, looks like it needs a little bit more of a chop. And I'm almost done with the green pepper. And then I'll chop the, I'll very quickly chop the mushrooms. And then we're going to move on to um, um, getting the chicken prepped. Even though I'm actually not going to be making the chicken today, it needs to marinate for a couple days, which makes it a perfect midweek dish because um, I don't make it on Sundays because I... Um, I'm trying to keep up with this and not cut my fingers at the same time. <laughs> um, it makes it a perfect midweek dish because I give it a couple days to um, marinate in the fridge and I'll tell you all the stuff that goes in there and so the other thing that I do use in the Philly cheesesteak is all which again is probably not authentic people are gasping somewhere some Philadelphian is rolling over in their grave as I make my own version of it but I'll put like some granulated garlic on it 
and that kind of thing. Okay, so this is chopped, and this is two green peppers. Clearly, my kitchen and everything was not set up for this. So, <clears throat> all right, all right. So I'm gonna put this in this little bowl here. And these things I love. If you guys can find these, like I don't know, my mother turned me on to them, but they're little boards that you chop on, and they're. <laughs> She ordered some for me on Amazon, and they're like the best thing because I can just stick it in my little bowl, and it's super easy, and then we're done. Um, okay, so I'm going to now open some mushrooms. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, I'm going to have to do it anyway, right? So, with an audience or without. <laughs> I just wish that you guys could see what I'm doing. Um, okay, so green peppers here. And these are the mushrooms. And I'm trying. Okay, so I'm just like, not even really chop them, chop them, but just um, kind of so that they're in smaller pieces. And I'm just. Not doing anything terribly fantastic with them. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, I use the, um, I guess they're creamy. Yeah. What are they? Are they creamy? I don't even know what they are, but they're the baby bellas or whatever. So that's what they look like. Over here I have the sweet peppers, which, and then these are the other half of the container, which we're going to cut in the middle. These are the cucumbers, and I'm going to cut um, some more um, onions that have to be smaller, which is why I didn't cut them originally. Otherwise, I would have just done that all together. Okay, so I'll show you what's happening over here. And so while I have something on the stove. I'm usually always doing something else. So that's happening here and um, I'm going to wait a couple minutes before I put these in um, because I want them to get a little softer. take these and I'm just going to move them. And then I'm going to take another one of these. And these have already been washed. So these are the little, these things, the little tomatoes. And I'm just going to um, cut them in half the long way. And then I'm going to cut them like in little pieces. Okay, Amanda, I'll talk to you later. Um, and so I'm going to do this with all of the little um, tomatoes that I have because the next thing that I'm making is um, what my husband's family calls summer salad. And um, in, in like that's the English translation. The um, the Turks call it choban salad, which means some, which means shepherd salad. And um, I guess I don't know what you call it here, but it's basically your cucumber, tomato, and onion mixture. And then if you know, I'm sure you've seen it on Delish or whatever. If you want to throw an avocado in there, you can. But when you do throw an avocado in there, what they don't tell you is that doesn't last as long. So I have the avocados, but I don't put them in with the dish because um, they just, you know, the avocados turn brown really quickly. 
So if you're gonna throw it on top of the salad that you've just freshly made, awesome. But if you're going to um, like expect it to stay for a couple days, hey Tracy, I'm cooking. I have gotten your email, but I will get to it. <laughs> so um, I promised everybody I'd do a meal prep. Hey Dorothy. Okay, so avocado doesn't last that long. Um, so that's what we're doing. I'm almost done here and I'm going to, so this salad will stay also till Friday. So this will go great with my um, Greek chicken. I'm like looking for the other, cause I got another one. Where did it go? Oh, maybe I stuck it in the fridge by accident. Okay, so the onions are good. Hey, Jackie. Okay, so these look good enough. I'm going to take these mushrooms and stick it in here. This is going to, granted, this is going to serve a purpose for two recipes for um, more than one person. This were just for me. I wouldn't make as much. So I'm going to let that sit a little bit longer before we put in the other one. Oops, now I'm gonna go look and see if I, like detour, if I put my, you can check and see what's in my fridge. So this is actually what my fridge looks like. And I did clean it up, but I didn't clean it up like, you know, here's where I put the tomatoes. There's nothing down here, more organic and then perfect bar. My son's yogurt fell out. So we, and then mini hamburgers. My son's leftover spaghetti, which he's going to eat. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, I'm going to cut some more of these. That's still going. Anybody have any questions so far about what I'm making, what I'm doing? What are you doing, child? <laughs> so I take this, again, whenever my little thing gets full, and I'm going to just sweep it off into there. Um, I have my, um, probably take another handful or so. I don't want to, like, overdo it, um, because I'm not going to, you know, the salad will last, but we're not going to, I don't, you never want to over prep either, because that could be a waste of food. Plus, these tomatoes are yummy, actually, to just, like, use in a dip or just to pop in your mouth for a nice treat like um like with turkey roll-ups or something and um almost done with this and then the next thing i'm going to do is really quickly i'm making multiple meals so i'm making egg cups i'm making philly cheesesteak skillet and then i'm prepping the salad for greek chicken and I'm gonna prep the Greek chicken, but I'm not actually gonna cook the Greek chicken because I actually just skillet it, and it's really easy for me to do like on a on a you know Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday night. I actually forgot which night I put it on my meal plan, but um, it, it's good if it if you um, what do you call it? You um, marinate it for a couple days. Okay, now I'm gonna take my mini cubes, and I'm just gonna take about three. I might not use them all. Cut off the ends. And then I'm going to stir my... I know this is not as exciting. I wish I had like a full-on video recorder person. You're not allowed to be in my video because you're not dressed. You understand? Yes. Hey, Mom. Can you make me some... Um Okay. Yes, because I brought me I bought mini burgers. Oh, if you got some buns, I cut them and in some half. cheese. I didn't get any buns, but uh -huh. we have the Dave's Killer Bread. We have cheese, and Daddy's calling you because he knows that I'm doing a live stream. Okay, so I cut them in half. Hey, Marie, Marie. Okay, so I'm cutting them again so that they're in quarters, and. At this point, I'm just making sure I'm still watching my, so I'm cutting these in quarters. And, um, 
I'll show you guys the thing. It's, I probably need to strap this to my head. I wouldn't know how to do that <laughs> if I plan on cooking more. But um, for those of you who have just popped on, this is cooking for peeps who are not crazy about cooking. Um, because I don't cook during the week. Because um, for many of you who know, like I have evening clients and like, you know, it's just not something that I have time for during the week. So what I do is, because I say you have to make time for things that are important to you, I do make time for things that are important to me, I just don't make time for them during the week. Okay. So, so here's what that looks like. <coughs> I probably need one more piece. Just looking at what spirit versus what I need. So I'm gonna stir this again. Bring it down just a touch. And I'll um show you guys this. So this is just I kind of go back and forth. Like, I know um, some people just can't do too many things at a time. I don't know if it's just the multitasking. I just tend to kind of do what I do. So, okay, so then this is going to go in here. I'm still not done yet. The onion. It's a very small onion. It's a Vidalia onion. I think Jen, who may not be here today, but who will probably pop on at a later time, said, I'm not really crazy about raw onions. And for this salad, it does have onions in it, so, um, but I make the sweet onions. I don't do red, I mean, I have a red onion here, but I don't use them, um, particularly. Okay, washed it off. So... Um, chopping this a little more finely, and I will show you guys. Does anybody, can anybody see the time lapse on the video, how long the video's been going? I'm trying to do this in a timely manner. I don't know if you're still watching, Lauren. <clears throat> I think I started at about 4.45 or so. My husband likes really small pieces. Oh, wow, awesome. 33. Oh, it's 5.22 my time, yes. I just wasn't sure how long I've been doing the video. Okay, so he likes really small pieces. So I try to do like more of a fine chop on things. So I kind of chopped it and now I'm just going through and doing like this with a knife. And just trying not to make a mess. Okay, so the onion, chopped. Around here. Okay, this salad is not for tonight. You can eat it on the same night, but generally not. So now what I do is here's the salad, right? The tomato. Oh my gosh, the onion's gonna make me cry, y'all. Okay. I roll. Oh, thank you for the like. Okay. I roll this to get as much juice out of it as possible. And then I'm gonna cut it and squeeze the lemon into the salad because that's the dressing for the salad. With that and a little bit of olive oil. Okay, now this is how this looks. And I'm gonna dump the in here. Okay, So 
this is going to make two different meals. And I've, oops, sorry. Turn it around. So that's going to make two different meals. So I'm going to take this, roll it, cut it. So this is how you kind of like make your own dressing. I usually take the seeds out. And then I've got this nifty thing. And then take out any remaining seeds. And then I will literally just pour it in here. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I know people are like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? That's not a dressing. I didn't, I mix it all together. Um, like, I will show you what I kind of do it all. This is not like like poured on blue or anything <laughs> but it comes out really good <laughs> okay so i'll use a whole lemon um which you could you know some people use vinegar and stuff i find the more natural well i guess vinegar is a natural ingredient the more natural ingredients that you use the better so i'm going to put about um a tablespoon of um olive oil in there and then over here so I don't really have a traditional pantry like most people and it's dark in here so I'm gonna grab granulated garlic and black pepper so this is my pantry if you guys want to see it more um, there are the Kodiak cakes on the bottom and this is where I'm standing right so over there So, and then I use Himalayan sea salt, which I'll show you guys. I don't use regular, I mean, it's just what I'm used to, I guess. So I'll take some of this and it's in a shaker and I'll just, I literally do not do anything crazy in terms of, you know, how much needs to go in here. It's just, you know, a couple shakes until I think, you know, what needs to be in here. And then this is a little bit less because salt is always very potent. So I just do about a pinch of salt and then I'll take a spoon. Oh, it is pure Himalayan crystal sea salt. So it's supposed to have better in terms of minerals and stuff, like, like trace minerals. So yeah, exactly. So I just um, do that and, you know, one of the things that I used to do a lot was, you know, eat my food and then I wouldn't eat dinner, but now I just, um, I usually just take like a very small taste, so like something like that, just to make sure I haven't under, um, under um, seasoned it or over seasoned it Oops. so just get a little bit more and so then I will take this this again I do I think I have a top never mind Jokes on me. <laughs> okay, and then you can always you know, shake it up a bit. Okay, so this is going in the fridge. So Greek salad done, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chicken out while that's still going, and I'm gonna toss this. I'm gonna put these things back in the fridge. All the tomatoes don't need to go in there. And I'm gonna um, throw this out. So the other thing, I'm gonna go back to the yogurt for a second. Um, the yogurt, um, I got strawberries 
and I got peaches and I also have blueberries. So that's another thing that will go on the yogurt. Okay, so yes, I could add feta to the salad, but one of the things that um, has happened recently, new development, my husband, um, who's a vegetarian, found out that he has high cholesterol, and so he's watching all of his cheese intake. So I'll put it on mine at the table, and I have it in the fridge, but for him, we, I won't put it in the salad because he's going to eat it just as much as I will. And so, um, yeah. So it's obviously genetic because he's like this big, and um, he's a vegetarian, like I said, and he's, he, he is... He does eat a, quite a bit of carbs, but um, he also eats quite a bit of like really good, um, really good foods, or, like really good healthy, you know, like he's, on a, I would call it like a Mediterranean diet if anything, so. Okay, so I've got the chicken out, I've got more trash here, and I'm just kind of collecting, oops, and I'm going to um, squeeze another lemon. And because I'm going to use these spices, I'm going to keep those. And I'm going to get some oregano that is in here. Oregano leaves. All of this while my pan over here is the little engine that could. So I'm going to take out one of these because it's not that much chicken. If it were a lot more chicken, I would use more. So I'm going to turn it inside out like this and um, I'm going to leave the chicken to the side first and I'm going to get a lemon that I feel is a little more squishy, that has a little more juice in it and roll it again. And so now what I'm doing is I'm marinating the Greek salad or the Greek chicken, sorry. So I'm going to use the thingy again. I'm actually, I'm gonna turn on the oven because when the veggies are done, we're gonna put the egg cups together and we're gonna need a warm oven. So I'm already thinking in advance, like what do I need, what do I need? Um, so, all right, so I have I'm taking out all of the little pits from the lemon, although I guess it really doesn't matter because um, it's not like something that we're going to eat from directly. Like I'm going to, I'm marinating the chicken. So this is a really good marinade for the chicken, for the Greek chicken, and it's just a lot of natural ingredients. Okay. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to put the lemon juice in the bag. I missed a couple sticks. Um, I'm going to take the garlic. And garlic can be messy, and I hate garlic. Like, I love garlic, but I hate it because it's messy. So what I usually do is I take this part of the knife, and I just, like, that way it's easy to peel because literally peeling garlic is like the bane of my existence. Like, really, do we have to peel garlic? But I like fresh garlic, so, and it's really good for this fruit chicken. So again, I take this part of the knife and I just put my weight on it, and then it, it kind of just, you just peel it, like super easy. See, like, it all just comes out, like I didn't even notice. I don't know, maybe I saw it. I don't really watch cooking shows, so. Me and my brother taught me I have no idea. I was using one of those like garlic like squisher things and I was like the garlic just doesn't come out. So I'm using, I don't really like garlic, so I'm using about three um, pieces. My sink looks like a disaster. But it'll be so easy to clean up and it's not all over my kitchen. So I'm just chopping these into little small pieces. And this is just going in the bag. And it's easy peasy lemon squeezy.
And if I wanted to put this in a Philly cheesesteak, whatever I could, but so it's gonna flavor the um okay, this is just about done. So um it's gonna flavor the Oh, good. It's so, I just make it easy. I mean, but then again, I also eat a lot of the same stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take the oregano, and I'm just going to put some in here. And again, I don't really, I don't really, do, I don't measure stuff. I'm just like, la da 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 but I guess because I've just been doing it, like this is black pepper. I like black pepper. I don't, I'm not like, like things too spicy, but... Okay, so then I put some more garlic in here, the granulated garlic. I like garlic. Okay, so then I'll take another spritz of this and just put that in here. And again, so easy on the salt. And then I'll take my tenderloins and I'll just stick them in here. I forgot olive oil, but look at that in a second. Because I'll stick about another, not a lot, but just a little touch of olive oil in the container, in the bag, can you see me? Not very much, just like a tiny indicator. So, um, and then I'll close it. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, it doesn't look like it usually does. I'm gonna put some more oregano. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some more oregano. Mm, put a little bit more garlic. A little bit more of that, and okay. so this is done. Like I literally will just stick this in my fridge, and my my fridge in about 24 to 48 hours will literally smell like an, a garlic exploded because of the fresh garlic that's in there. So I'm gonna take this to the trash. I have the rest of this garlic bundle here that I'm going to put back in its little place up here in the garlic spot. <clears throat> My husband's being a doll baby. He's keeping the kid busy downstairs um, so that I can do this. Okay, so I'm going to put that in the fridge. I'm going to put this in the trash. I don't know if y'all will be able to see it. Oops. Let's rotate your video. Okay, so put back. I'm going to put this back. Okay, so, so far we've made the veggies for egg cups. We've made, um, I might need this. Veggies for egg cups, Greek salad. We've made um, the yogurt, right? Um, we've made the dip. We've made for the veggies, which I'll show you what to do with them in a second because nothing is linear in my world. Um, we've got the eggs here. I'm going to show you what to do with them. I've turned on the oven. Eggs are here. Um, I use a Nutribullet. And I'm going to take these off the stove and show you what to do with them. Okay, so now, remember we had this container that we were using a while back, this little Pyrex dish? So, um, let's see if I can move this so that you guys can see what I'm doing over here. It's a little darker because my light in this area died <laughs> okay so here I'm gonna take some and put it in here in this little dish and the rest I'm gonna leave in the pan because we're gonna put the meat in the pan so maybe a little bit more okay so this is about what I need hey Barb this is what about what I need for the egg cups okay and then the rest, which is in the pan, a little bit more. I don't know if I need that much. I'm like back and forth, like, do I need more? Do I need more? Okay. So, um, here's what this looks like. Oops. Okay, this is what this looks like. 
And I'm literally just gonna cut the steak and put it in here. And this is gonna be the first thing that's done and that's kind of gonna be dinner. So I get a pound, I'm probably not gonna use it all, of London broil. And I use London broil because it's the best cut of meat and it's tastier. And I'm going to take hmm, mushroom on the floor. Okay. Probably take about half of it, maybe three quarters of it. Here's my trusty doofwiki, right? So I haven't cut meat on this, or I've only cut vegetables. So the rule of thumb is this is about half. And I shave it. Just, I call, I, call, I don't call the deli. I like order it online. And I'm like, okay, I want this. And I want it shaved. So I did turn off the, um, the stove just for a second. So I'm going to take this and I'm just taking the meat and I'm just literally, I wish I could like, have you guys see it, but I need both hands. Um, I'm like taking it and going like this because it's shaved and I'm cutting it like in almost like cubes right but it's already shaved so it's like lunch meat so I'm taking it like this Maybe this is just like easy and I'm gonna put it in the oops sorry turn it around I guess this turning around is like not liking me okay so I'm just going to stick it in the veggie stuff, okay? So a lot of the stuff that I do do is kind of somewhat prepped a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, so now the meat is in here. I'm not going to turn it back on just yet. <coughs> um, because I want the eggs. Well, I guess I could. I was gonna say I want to get the egg stuff done. So this is here. Whoa! I just pulled this out. or something. Um, I want your help. Ooh, it's like not opening. <sighs> I mean, it's so easy. It's just so easy. I'll probably have to turn this back on. I don't know what is going on with this. Okay, clearly I like did something here. Okay, girl who doesn't cook very often broke the kitchen. <laughs> so, this drawer underneath the stove is where I keep my baking pans for like egg cups and it won't open. So, I'm wondering like, what's up with that? So, I may have to figure this out and then re reconfigure things. I'm like, there's no child lock on it. Okay. Um, you mean after this week? So, what do you like? Because I already have ideas for next week. So there's this. I'm turning this back on. So, like next week, I'm probably, it's going to be less beef and more chicken. So, I'm going to use six eggs, by the way. 
Yeah, I guess a pan is stuck. Um, <laughs> um, so next week I'm probably going to do a chicken salad that I make myself. And then I was thinking about doing, um, ooh, liver. Oh, I never eat liver. Ugh. Okay, how many? I would just keep cracking eggs. One, two, three. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. And that might be enough. <clears throat> five is uh, five. I'm just gonna take five. Maybe one egg white. And not the whole yolk. So um because cholesterol. Um, yeah, no liver. Ugh. I'm actually not a fish person either, so that's hard. Like, I wouldn't, you wouldn't catch me making fish. Okay, washing hands. Okay, so the other thing I do is... I take half and half, here are my eggs. I just put a touch, not a lot, just just a little bit. And I know this may seem weird to some people, but I will take, because again, I like things, I don't know why, but I'll take a half a, I don't know if you can see it, like, oops, like a half a packet of, like, stevia or Splenda, and I'll put it in there. Like, it's almost like a savory sweet, and then I'll put a little bit of garlic in here, just a touch, not a lot, a little bit of salt, pepper, and very little, very little salt, and then... Yes. And so then, you know what I may do, because that thing is stuck, is I may just do a... Yeah, we need recipes. All right, we need to go here. So the meat is just so I'm just gonna brown it. Like I'm not doing anything, you know, crazy. Yeah, I'll post them later. I'll also do like chicken fajitas or chicken tacos or stuff like that, which are super easy. Um, so just that kind of stuff. So I'm just like chopping it and just working the meat into the veggies. And um, and I may take another. Even though I have these veggies here, I'll probably take like another spoonful or so and just put them in here. Because some of, you know, I'll do different things with the eggs. I don't need a ton of that. So I'll do this and then just get it. You know, in here and put some. Whoops. Sorry. I'll just spray some, just a little bit of garlic in here, and a little bit of, obviously you can see I use these spices a lot. I use a lot of the same thing. And then the meat pretty much already has like salt and sodium in it, so um, I don't go crazy with like seasoning. 
sorry, I think it was the pepper. Probably just a little bit more of that garlic that I like. And that's good enough. <clears throat> My husband says I overspice things, but yeah. So he's actually going to make his stuff um, after I'm done here. He's making some kind of grilled salad. So um, he's going to need the evidence. Okay, so let me. What else am I doing? Okay, this is done. Oh, can you guys even see me anymore? Oh. Alright. Let me ask him to help me, or maybe see if I can move this thing really quick. Okay. I might have to get a knife and see if it's stuck. It's, it's just easy. Like, I started it, I mean, I've started at, um... 4:45, and I have like three or four meals like it's been one hour and I have what three or four meals like done done like that's it I'll just make like a quiche. And then I'll cut it. See? Yeah, it's easier to do the eggs in the muffins, but I'll just use this Pyrex dish. Okay, I'm gonna get a spray. So this is just an olive oil spray. And actually this is looking good. So, okay, I'm actually gonna stop. I'm not gonna do this right. And I'm gonna go get my cheese because this needs to get topped. So I'm gonna take some mozzarella and some provolone and I'm gonna top it. And my phone dies so easy that I have like a charger connected to it. Can you see me? This was like a smaller bag of mozzarella that um, we had gotten. Um, I, had, I had tried out a HelloFresh. Sorry, it just wasn't for me. Um, it's too like, you must make this now. It comes in different times of the week. And I need something that's going to come on the weekends. Okay. So I put a little bit of that in there. And then I'll take these. Hey Megan. And I will um, put them on top and I'll show you guys. And I'll just let this melt. And I'll pretty much use like almost the entire packet. I'm making silly cheesecake skillet. <laughs> sliced um, some other sliced 
um, mozzarella, so I'm putting that on. It's left over. And, okay, I'll show it to you guys. So, it, it doesn't look like much right now, but it's gonna melt. And so I have underneath there the peppers, the onions, the mushrooms, the meat, and boom, it's done. And it's so easy. I mean, you saw what I did with it. So I literally just, um, I got the meat at the store. I got all the veggies at the store, all of that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, okay, so I have these veggies over here. I'm also gonna get, um, I have a pack of, Gruyere or something. Um, parmesan. I really don't like parmesan in um, like egg muffins. I really like cheddar. So um, to each his own. So I'll probably just mix a bunch of different cheeses together. And just make it what it is so um, I'm gonna spray the pan with olive oil okay and I'm gonna show you this because look, it's almost done look it's like almost done like I'm not even gonna mess with it so I'm gonna turn it down it's on like three like simmer and that's like that's it that's done and that's gonna be like a meal for like three days Okay, so you guys saw what I put in here. This is the egg. So I'm going to spray the pan. Yes, I could do egg um, muffins, but my little thing is locked. Okay, so I'm going to take these veggies, and I'm just going to put them in the bottom of the... I'm almost done. I'm almost done. And then I'm just going to smooth it out in the bottom. And I'll show you guys what I'm doing. If you want to put turkey or something in, you can. I just don't. So I'm going to take a little bit of cheddar. And I'll show you what I'm doing here. Not much. And I'm just going to just put it in the bottom. And I actually may take... A couple of these tomatoes and just um, take this knife right here. Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Gosh. Maybe next time I do this, I'll have the right setup. So I'm just gonna literally like cut little pieces off and let them fall in so that they're. And the thing with tomatoes is, I don't usually cook with a lot of tomatoes because it gives a lot of like water in whatever you're making. I love the tiny. I love the tiny. I'm probably gonna have three total in here. And that's just another like, you know, veggie that's in here. Wow. Okay. Hey, Zelda. I'm meal prepping for people who don't like meal prep. Um, hey, Beth. Okay, so this is peppers, onions, mushrooms, and then some fresh tomatoes with a little bit of. Um, I know. He is. Um, he's not dressed right now. He's just in his underwear, and he wants to get on camera, and I told him no. So. Um, Told me it's all out unless he's dressed. I mean, that's, those are rules. You hear him? Oh, come on. So I'm just pouring this over that stuff. Sink. And no, I haven't made it yet. So I'm just gonna stick a little bit more of um of that. And now I'm going to put some cheese on top. Just different cheeses on top. So this is the yay. I don't even know where we got this from. Um, I'm not 
not fancy smancy. I just, whatever I got, I'll put in there. And then a little bit of, a little bit more of the sugar. And, I mean, I like the cheese on top, but I want to make sure that I've got stuff inside. So I'm just taking my spoon and just, you know, making sure that it gets mixed through. Because I don't like it when it's all on the top, but not all the way through. bit more so it doesn't look naked. I don't need anything else in here, I don't think so. Alright, so this is what it looks like after. And now, sorry y'all, I'm going to stick that in the oven. Oops. So, well here's the thing, I know that I put <clears throat> five and a half eggs in here so I'll go to my fitness pal and I'll just or I'll calculate how many five and a half eggs is and then I'll cut it and determine how many a serving is so if it's a serving if if I do six then like if that's six servings then however many an egg is and then you know the the cheese usually has and I probably put a half a cup of cheese in there. I would say at least quarter cup, half cup, maybe three quarters of a cup. So I will like seven grams times three, that's 21 grams. So it's all rough estimates um, for me. Um, and then the other thing is if I'm for this stuff, I'll usually put it into my fitness pal for how I've, you know, um, how I've made the recipe. I mean, I'm not, it, it's not perfection. Um, but I'll, you know, probably say that I use three quarters of a cup of cheese. Um, you know, what types of cheese. Uh, I'll probably put that I use six eggs. Do you use these for specific family meals? Can you use specific? Oh my gosh, this is, has so much left over. Like, even though I've made all of this skillet thing, I probably won't finish it. Like, I'll probably have leftovers that either I'll offer to a neighbor or, um, so that is a family meal right there. I mean, you have four. I've only got three, but there's only two of us that are going to eat this because I have a vegetarian. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm done. Um, and then this is done. Hang on, I'm not answering questions. So, that's done. I'll turn it off. And then I just got to clean up, which clean up is, that'll probably take me 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so, oh, and then the veggies. Sorry. I'll answer that question. Um, the veggies. Is. And to answer your question DJ. I think I've been just doing this so long. Is. That I kind of know what the proteins are. But I will put it in my fitness pal. If I really have a question about it. So the cubes. The cauliflower. These. And these, um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, because I work from home a couple days a week, so I'll just, you know, divvy it up. If you're, um, if you're going somewhere every single day for lunch, yes, I would say go ahead and do your meal prep. Um, like put it in different containers, but a lot of times, I don't because I'm not going anywhere um, and unless I am going somewhere and then I do put it in a separate container um, because I just have um, if I'm if I'm divvying up for myself I have the right size plate a smaller plates so I have the live Liga right size plates that have the serving sizes on the back so I just put 
put it on my plate. And then I do have like little to-go containers that are, but I don't have like a, I don't have a microwave in my office. So the egg meal, how long do you cook? So I do it for 350 and thanks for reminding me, I'll, because it's this type of, um, it's not a, a, like if it were eggs, I would like, it, I'm sorry, if it were a muffin, I would probably put it in for 30 or 35 minutes, but because it's in a whole thing, putting it in at 350 for 45 minutes and then I'll check it and if it needs more. Um, what else? So I don't put them in freezer, so I will freeze the egg stuff. Um, what else? Um, these containers are great. They're big. Um, I did have like a bigger like container that I was using, but it was just too big um, for for me. So the other thing. Well, I'm not done yet. Wait a second. Wait a second. So I don't know if this will sit here. Okay. Can you see me? Oops. <laughs> I stuck you in a cup. I don't know that it's going to work. I wasn't, my kitchen is not set up for, um, <laughs> for showing stuff. Okay. I'm putting, okay. So I'm going to take this and I'm probably going to use two of these. And this will just be something that I pull from. They don't have like lazy season or anything like that. Um, so I'll take these and just put them in a ooh, leaf. Put them like a couple handfuls in a container. And this is something like if I do want to take this to the office, I do have a fridge, I just don't have a, a microwave. And so, and you might be able to save money on, um, like cutting your own, um, whatever you want to call it, um, cauliflower and broccoli. I just would rather pay a little extra to get the stuff that's already pretty put together. And so I'll take these, like even this, I probably have to break it. And so remember the dip that I made earlier, the ranch dip guys, this is great to go with that ranch dip. So this is something, um, so I'm putting it in these two different containers and you know what, I'll probably just stick it in the bag. And that'll be easier. So I put the carrots, the, um, and then in terms of serving sizes, I'll take this stuff and I'll put it on a plate or I'll put it, um, in like a separate serving dish. But here's the thing, like newbies measure, 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 measure. As, as somebody who's five years out, I don't measure, but I also am so in tune with going, oh, I'm full, like in, in the spacing of what I eat and all of that, that I have kind of grasped, um, you know, all of, all of that. So, okay, so I'm just going to leave the, these in there, little thing, and this is kind of a mixed bag. And then um, if I was really someone who, little cauliflower. Um, like really had trouble with the time piece, like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a struggle to do every day. I would say, you know, go ahead. Like these, I, I would rather cut them last minute because they don't stay. If I were to cut them now, like if I wanted them on Wednesday, they would be like, whoa. So I'm not going to cut them now. Um... But these are things I've learned along the way because I used to pre-cut and pre-plan and yada, yada, yada. And that kind of thing. So then I'll stick this. I close it. 
in the bag. I'll show you my freezer too so that you guys know I'm not just um okay. So this is the egg. It's not the egg. This is the chicken. I'm gonna put this is I just purchased stasher bags, meal prep. Has anyone used them similar? I don't know. Um this is the salad, right? This is the yogurt. Behind there are the two things of the dip. This is my husband's tuna. This is the chicken salad that I bought. We're still teaching the kid portion control on juice. So that's what that is. This is a soup from the other night. Blueberries. I actually have vegetable juice I need to toss. This is the crisper or whatever. And then I have meat, cheeses, and stuff like that for the kiddos lunch. And then I, there was a sale on these things a while back. So I bought um, a crap ton of them, so I have those, and of course I have the, um, the ProCare chocolate calcium, you don't need to put them in the refrigerator, but I do, and my kids' yogurt. So, eggs, we keep like obviously regular like condiments, but, and then my freezer, um, so we don't have like regular ice cream or anything like that, kiddo likes these kind of things. This is frozen kale for when I make smoothies. I have a couple real good pieces back there. Um, Kino likes these for breakfast sometimes. These, if I really want a frozen something or other that's sweet, these are 35 calories and they're real fruit. And those are the, um, what kind of bag is what? This? The kale? Or the meal prep bag? Um, and then the, remember the chicken I got in the store today, that's that. And then I have also in the past used a company called Freshly. And so I have a couple of those left over because if I don't eat them, I freeze them. And then I have these. These have probably been in here for two months because I just am not crazy about them. Even though if they're there for like a sweet tooth, this probably needs to get tossed. That one's for my husband because he likes coffee. And, um... Yeah, it's really not that thrilling. <laughs> More fresh stuff. Um, these are for the kiddo, obviously. So I don't have anything really. These are so fresh free bars. So if if like there's nothing in here that's that I that I think is awful, anyways. Oops. Um. Okay, so that's done, and then. Other snacks that I kind of keep around, I don't know, because I figured while I'm here other people might want to see. I'll have these occasionally. Um, and these my husband will eat. But um, any kind of juice we have like is either the diet, this is for kiddo, and then obviously I make real pancakes as well as Kodiak cakes down there. We don't have like a real pantry. Um, so bone broth, you know, I just, spices, I mean, there's not much, those Annie shells probably need to go, away. oops, kiddo, sorry, not dressed, um, probably need to go away because he doesn't like macaroni and cheese and I can't remember the last time I made him some. Okay, this, this cabinet's a hot mess, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Oh, I'll show you that. It's in the other cabinet where the coffee stuff is. Okay. So, I have Yay. in here. So, this is stuff for kiddos' breakfast. If you've ever had Trader Joe's, this big or blueberry walks into a bar. Hubby eats those too. Oh, look, empty box. Because you have boys, and that's what they do. I have five women's stuff in here. Um oven baked cheese bites. These I got from OAC. Um, I have cheese bites in here. Hubby likes the blend um, milk and stuff. Um, I, I have these Achieve from Rational Foods. I like them so I have those for a quick breakfast. Um, these are also great. They, they are a little bit higher in sugar but they are great if you're looking for something crunchy and sweet. Um, and then of course stuff for the kiddo, 
Um, and of course, hubby stuff is in here too. Kiddo likes go go squeeze. So I have a regular cabinet just like other people do. Like I'm not like, oh, we can't have that in the house. Like we have chips in here and stuff like that. I just don't, I just don't eat it. <laughs> so, um, oh, and I have protein water on the floor, but it's a hot mess down there. So, um, you have just toured my pantry. So over here, I have a couple different brands of stevia. So I have, this is the coffee cabinet. <laughs> Did not realize I'd be on tour today. I have Splenda, I have a Whole Earth that I use as packets, and then I have stevia that's from Trader Joe's because this was cheaper. Um, my husband eats pineapples and his green tea. And then whenever we get packets out, sugar in the raw, but I don't use sugar a lot. And then this one is from Aldi that we bought way back when. So this is like the coffee and tea cabinet because I'm obsessed with coffee and tea. Oh, that was, um, they were dried strawberries from Trader Joe's. They were just dried strawberries. So I'll show you what they are. So the Whole Earth brand, by the way, um, I think it was Lauren that asked, is the kind that Starbucks uses. I just started using it and I liked it. So this is just freeze dried strawberries. And you can get them in a bag. So, um, and these cheese bites I get from Trader Joe's. And it's 170 calories per serving. And it's half the bag. So if you eat the whole bag, it's 340 calories. But it's 30 grams of protein. So. I get her. Okay, I will. <laughs> so, that is meal prep. Um water anybody else have any questions so we did just to kind of wrap up I'm gonna go sit down because everything is off except for the oven um, oh and I'll give you one last look of the this thing. so and I'm gonna set it out into like little pieces and put it in now that I'll probably put in a couple different containers Alexa turn on the living room light so Okay, so if Alexa is not working, that means the living room light is, somebody turned it off. Yeah, okay. So, um, I'll put those in different packages. Thank you for throwing it away from me, thank you. So, I am proud of you. So then what I'll do is, um, okay, I'll cut that and put it into separate containers. That I probably will. Um, have some tonight and put that into separate containers and then I will um, probably Wednesday or Thursday take out the chicken and I'll put it on the stove top so I already have olive oil in there so I'll just heat up a pan and I'll spray in there so I won't put any more oil in the pan and I'll just do it on both sides if I feel like going out and putting hooking the grill up I'll grill it but that's a lot of monkey business so if I'm feeling you know in, so inclined I'll just do it on the stove and then I will have the salad that I showed you the Greek salad that I made maybe put some feta in it and I'm done so that's two meals um, the Philly cheesesteak skillet the Greek chicken and then I'll have the yogurt and the yogurt which is the ranch yogurt that I made with the veggies and then I will have, um, I have lunch meat. So I had turkey lunch meat. I still have like salami. So that's another meal. So I just do roll ups with cheese, easy peasy with the veggies. And then I have the sweetened yogurt that I made um, with, and he wants to be on camera. He covered himself up. So the sweetened yogurt that I made and I'll put fruit in Hello. there, fresh fruit. So in terms of like <laughs> macros and stuff, you're getting your vegetables, you're getting the fruit and you're getting your protein and they're all like whole foods. So that's my meal prep for this week. Okay, Lauren, how long did it take me? <laughs> Hello. For the whole week. Hello. I love if she's dinosaurs. still on. I know you love dinosaurs. Let me finish. So how long, I don't know how long the video has been going for, but that's, that was kind of the assessment is I'm not spending all day in the kitchen. Like I'm done. So that's, how I roll <laughs> and then next week I will probably pick something you know super easy like either making chicken salad and then um oh his name's Amir yep and I love dinosaurs and I love watching um 
he wants to be on the video. Um, thank you, Sarah. So I'll probably make like a buffalo chicken and maybe a cauliflower, um, like a cauliflower mash or something like that. And then, um, and yeah, an hour-ish. So it's, you know, it's not that, so it's not that long. Miss Nancy says hi. And you uh, cannot come on video without clothes on. Okay. Remember what I told you? Yes. So, um, so that's it. So I, cause Lauren asked, how do you meal prep for next week? So I'll, yeah, buffalo chicken, part of your prep. Um, you know, there's, I'll usually, the other thing I'll do, which is really fun is when I go to Costco, I'll get a package of their chicken, which is like, I think it's like 46 ounces. It's ridiculous. And it's 12 or $13. And I'll do like five different things with it. Like I'll make my own version of like a chicken salad oh and then I also have chicken salad which I bought from the store today which is also so I'll make chicken salad from scratch with the rotisserie chicken that I'll get at Costco and I'll put like onions and celery in it and if you don't like onions fine but I'll put onion celery and I'll have like a yogurt sauce in there so instead of mayonnaise like I'll probably use a little mayonnaise but it's mostly yogurt kind of like what I did today with the with the other dip is I used a little bit of sour cream um, so I have them listed. I actually um, have them in a Word document and actually look in the group and see if they're there. If not, I'll, I'll post them to the files tab later in the my, Bariatric Mindset Mavens group. Um, and then, because I have the chicken salad recipe in there too. And the other thing that I might do is what I did last week, which is I'll make like a spaghetti sauce, like a meat sauce. Um, and like I got the, the, you can get the chicken sausage from the ones that I showed you guys today in the store that was buy two, get one free. I'm gonna do it in one when, second. When you're done doing the camera, can I be in camera? You can say goodbye to everybody when I'm ready to say goodbye, okay? But I wanna be on camera too. Okay, you can be on camera and say goodbye yeah. in just a second, okay? okay? So you can make the, like a meat sauce. Okay, then I'll post it. Um, and then, um, I'll get zucchini noodles and then the boys will get like protein noodles kind of like the um, Barilla protein noodles because I want to make sure even though they're not necessarily high protein that they're getting protein noodles so I'll do that and so I'll use zoodles for me and I'll just get them the ones that are already made instead of using the machine you can use the machine if you want it's just I'm trying to cut corners on time and then um, I'll do the sauce very similarly where I'll, um, but sometimes I'll, I won't necessarily use like green pepper or mushrooms. I told you no on camera if you're not dressed. He's just walking around okay. his underwear. Sorry. Um, you have to put your cape on or the, the blanket on. Okay. Um, okay. and so I'll use that and then put the meat sauce and then I'll just use like a jarred spaghetti sauce. I just make sure that it's lower in sugar, that kind of stuff. Um, what else? Mommy. But I'll I'll find some more, you know, Mommy. different quick and easy recipes, Mommy. but I find that it's easier. Excuse me, I'm talking. I find it easier than um when he wants to be on camera so bad. I find it easier that when I um meal prep on the weekends and just have a couple different things during the week because my life in the evenings is just really really busy, so I don't have time to meal prep in the evenings. And um sometimes I'll eat either when I'm at work or after I come home and some days I will be here really late so I don't I don't usually you know I don't want to eat that late so that's it you're very welcome Sarah I'm happy to help I hope that this guy this helped you guys today because I do not spend all day in the kitchen I keep it very quick very simple that's it okay Mir I'm gonna say goodbye do you want to come say goodbye anybody else have any questions no, and I have a shopping video for you guys who didn't see me shopping and I had my list and I followed my meal plan and I did get a couple extra things. Okay, Goodbye. what would you like to say? My favorite food is macaroni. You you don't ever eat macaroni. Yeah, what eat. is your favorite food for real? Hamburgers. Hamburgers. <laughs> See? All right, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye-bye. Can you say goodbye? <laughs> And um, many of you I will see on Wednesday. So if you have any other questions, let me know. When I get in there later, and the I will post it to the files tab. What? Oh, he's been watching YouTube, and he's like, and you know, give me a thumbs up. So um, I hope you guys have a great night. I hope this yeah, was helpful. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> have a good night.
Bye. See you guys Mwah. later. Mwah. Bye. They love source kids. Oh. <laughs> And if you guys, I forgot to mention, I keep saying like bye and then I'm not here. For those of you who haven't um, signed up for the group program, because I know Alicia would be like, hello, Kristen. Um, if you guys have any questions about that, let me know. I know many of you have, so I will see you there on Wednesday. So that's what I mean by see you there Wednesday if you guys have any questions about the group program, which is not meal prepping, by the way. It's not meal prepping and meal planning. This was just an extra thing. Let me, let me know. And the dinosaur says goodbye as well. So have a good bye night. Bye. <laughs> bye.